Okay, the, uh, we're looking at the fuselage as uh, incomplete, but quite a ways along. It's looking like an airplane. And uh, uh, Sackett and Poole are in the cockpit. Uh, Poole in the left seat, he's going to be the aircraft commander. And uh, Lee's going to be co-pilot. And we have two other guys in the, in the group that's working on the airplane who are multi-engine seaplane qualified. So we're, we're going to have uh, several people fly it. And uh, we're at the point now where we've got some more planking to put on the back. And then we're going to turn it over and do the, do the double planking in the front end of the airplane, which is in front of the step, which is really going to take the beating uh, in landing. And, uh, and then we'll cover it. And we're covering the wings, starting to cover the wings now. And we hope to have it ready to fly next, next September, September 07, two weekends after Labor Day at our fifth annual seaplane homecoming. Exactly. Fifth annual seaplane homecoming. So uh, we're real pleased the way it's coming along right now. And the proof of the pudding will be when we get all done, is it in the 3,000 pound weight plus or minus area, because that's what the published weight of the original one in 1914 was. Uh, the thing I, I guess I've mentioned before that just the difference between this and the earlier airplanes is here they're ready to cross the North Atlantic kind of just a few years after they learned how to get up in the air at all. And uh, maybe there's a question in some people's mind whether it would have made the distance from Newfoundland to the Azores, but uh, it certainly lifted the fuel load to do it. So that's kind of what we're going on. Uh, we're not going to let these guys take it to the Azores from Newfoundland even though Lee wants to do that. I don't know, does it feel comfortable in there? You guys are quite a bit bigger than the original pilots. But well, once we got the, uh, the aligning jig out of the way, that's what I'm noticing here. We're going to have the bar with the two patrol wheels on it, and uh, it feels very roomy, actually, in here. And uh, I think it's going to be very, uh, very good and roomy, and uh, we'll have good visibility. Looking back at the uh, wings and the engines, uh, yet good visibility out front, so I'm very pleased so far how it's uh, coming together. This will give you a frame of reference forward that you didn't have in the A1, exactly. which was this, this is a tricky. great deck to uh, to check your pitch angle. The A1 had nothing but the canard in front of it, so uh, uh, and it's also it's nice being inside. Yeah, yeah, it's out of the weather. You can fly in the rain. That's right. <laughs> Um, so it, but uh, it's going to be uh, very good. I'm looking forward. I think it'll be a big, uh, slow and stable aircraft. With, mm -hmm. uh, it'll uh, be very nice to fly. Feels really light. I'm I'm delighted with the amount of shoulder room that we have in here, leg room. Um, it's uh, it's pretty comfortable, and I think it'll fly like it looks. I think it'll be a little heavy, but I think it'll be very stable, and. Uh, certainly uh, will be secure inside of it. Oh yeah, no question. And uh, it's going to be great. I think it'll handle very, very well. And uh, We were looking at uh, things like wing loading uh, compared to other airplanes, and this one's got less than five pounds per square foot wing loading. And with the uh, a weight of 3,000 pounds, it's twice as heavy as our Model E flying boat, our 1913 boat that we built, and that one flew real nicely. And that one has 100 horsepower engine. This will have two uh, original Curtis OXX 600 horse engines. So it's kind of a, if there's any kind of a straight line comparison, I think it's straight lines right with the, uh, with the Model E boat for weight and power. Which flew very well. Which flew real well. Yeah. yeah. And this one will be just, uh, since it's got the bigger wingspan, all 72 feet of it, it'll be much more stable and uh, steady with two engines. Even as close as they are, uh, it adds stability too uh, mm -hmm. out there. So, uh, as I said, I'm really looking forward to flying it. So is Lee. Uh, Absolutely. And uh, Lee also will be an aircraft commander uh, at, at points. He'll fly it himself as well. So, um, 